Hi guys, so I've been asked to go through the Tune ECU program with you um, just to tell you a quick understanding of what it is and what it does and to take you through how to alter the parameters in your map, uh, the map that you want to download to your motorcycle. So uh, the Tune ECU program, so I've already downloaded this onto my laptop um, and I've also got a cable that will connect to my uh, bike underneath the seat, which is the OBD connector, and that then lets it talk to your bike. So, um, opening up the program. So, this is just uh, you know one of the main screens. You've got display here. You can display the parameters and all the attributes to each individual RPM according to your throttle position. Um, either in the graphic mode there or you can do it in a different mode either way you can alter it from you know either either display I just find the graphic one a lot more visual and I can see what's going on with that map so this was this is the standard map this is the uh, 20522 map that you would get from the download library uh, and I'll take you through that at the end but the download library will give you um, all of the maps that are associated with your year, your VIN number, um, what it has on the bike, if it's got different cans or whatever on it. Um, and also, you know, you can then uh, take that map, upload it, alter it or try a different map or whatever. So what all I've done is use this by trial and error to um, download something that's suitable for me. Um, Obviously, I don't take any responsibility for what you do to your bikes. That's your bike, and this is obviously, you know, the, the the tool to enable you to change your ECU. So with that comes different parameters, and if you change your own ECU, then that's that's obviously down to you. So this is just what worked for me and my bike. So here we have the, the standard map. Like I say, you, you've got a bit of a gap here, which I would call a hole, and you've got a peak. You've got several peaks where you've got little spiky parts to the, the map and you've got your troughs where it goes down. So um, this, this being the standard uh, map could be a lot better. Um, obviously we start at low range, go through mid range up to high end, which is where your um, fuel will come in at the end of your rev range. And at the moment it will bo it'll bottom out at 10,000 revs because it just goes flat. So between 78, probably 80 and 100% of your throttle on this map, there's nothing happening. It's just going to stay where it is. So if I want to take my bike onto a track day, I want that to increase. I want this to be smoother. I want there to be no holes, no glitches. I don't want it to be, you know, the throttle blipping, which is what happens here, which is what brought me into this in the first place. Because for me, between sort of 3,000 and 4,000 revs, I was trying to idle along at sort of 30, 40 miles an hour and I'd get the snatchiness on the response and, and you know, the, the bike sort of wants to move and you're trying to adjust your throttle accordingly and, you know, it gives you a bumpy ride. So um, that's got to be a lot smoother for me. So this is why I um, adjusted it and changed it and downloaded it to my bike. So I'll take you through that very quickly. So we've got the map here then. So all of these colours here relate to a different RPM and a different throttle um, position in percentage so from naught to the left over to 100 and from 350 revs right up to 9700 you can actually increase your rev limits and things like that um, which is quite easy to do so if we go in the blue lines here so we're looking at something over here so if I want to look at one of those lines I just click onto the left one uh, with my left um, keypad and it highlights the one you want to change I'll go for that one that's at 1400 right click on there and it will give you the line that you want to change the parameters for. So if I go up to 15% because that's about where that is, left click on there and it will highlight that particular spot. So all I want to do is click on with my mouse pad the left button and drag it down like so. Actually that's just clicked on 100 that wasn't supposed to happen but there you go so that's just actually smoothed out that line you can see where it was before with the dotted line above and you can see where you've brought it down to so you've minus three percent on that throttle response for this individual rpm line so that curve now goes a little bit smoother and you can do that for any part of the rev range so we're looking at say 60 percent of the throttle well at 60 percent i might want there to be a bit more fuel 
The same with 70%, I might want there to be a bit more fuel. Same with 8, well, 78%, a bit more fuel. But then if I don't increase here, it's just going to bottom out at sort of 80% of my throttle rate and not give me any more fuel. So if I'm on a track, I want it to rev out to its limit and I want that to be as high as possible. So maybe on this occasion, I'll take it up to plus 9%. So what we're looking at here then is the, the power curve is very smooth. There's no big ups and downs, no troughs, no spikes, and you can do that for every part of your rev range. So click out of it, left click again, and then into a different parameter. Okay, so that'll tell, you can't really tell, but that's taking it down there. So if we want to go to another one, Click on the 8,000 revs maybe, that's the top line there. So right click, and you can see the curve's very different, and it's quite steep here, but then it flattens off again. So I might want to take that to, you know, up here, and give it a bit more of a power curve right to the end. And, and so I just went through it, took my time, flattened out each one individually, and obviously, you know, it, uh, it helped with my throttle response and my power curve. So looking at the standard map there, I'll now download the map that I put onto my bike. So open map file. I don't want to change that because this is the original map. So that will revert back to it if I want to take it back to standard again. So say high RPM. So this is my track um, version of the map. It's still for a speed triple, still between the VIN numbers because these are the standard maps that you're adjusting. Mine's got ABS, arrow slip-ons uh, and gives you the fuel types that are used because this is used across the world in different countries and they have different fuel types. But uh, I think we have to 95 or 98 I think in, in the UK. So open it up and look, all of a sudden you see all of those values smoothed out going a lot higher now to 12,000 revs. So this is, this is a much better power curve. You've got rid of all the holes in the middle, so you've got pure power right from the beginning right up to the end. And that's that's how I changed it and that's what works for me. If I, if I want to take it on a track, all I do then is download that to my bike. So you go into ECU, you connect it to your bike first. TPS will show on there, so you've got your, D, your OBD connector connected all up and then you just download it. Simple as that. That'll download to your bike, update it, and it's done, simple as that. So um, just having a quick look at the library. So you'd go to uh, map database, which takes you here, then go to, uh, well, whichever type of bike you've got, but three and four cylinder maps, which takes you to here. And then you pretty much scroll down to whichever bike you have. And for mine, it would be somewhere down here. So I've got a speed triple. ABS model. There we go. So speed triple R 1050 from VIN number 49009901. So mine's within that. Mine's the ABS model. It has got a key in ECU. So this is the map for me. So 20522 was the original map. That's the one I'm downloading, and that was the original map that you saw me edit. So all the other ones I've renamed, and they have a different map now. I've got the um, high RPM one one that says new map which is very similar to the high RPM one it just doesn't go as high it goes to about 11,000 rather than 12. Um, so there you have it that's Tune ECU um, I hope you get on with it there's various other things that this thing will do um, you can also alter things like your um, idle um, cutout fan uh, so this one's set to 11,000 on the rev limit um, rather than your 10 uh, 104 instead of 103 so it just kicks in slightly later um, but yeah it's up to you have a play with it have a you know mess around see what works for you try it in your bike if it doesn't work obviously change those parameters um, to something that suits you so i hope you get on with that and uh, have fun with it like i say um, give us a shout out if you want anything explaining and i'll go through that with you but uh, stay safe for now bye